Joseph Espinoza of Grand Forks has been sentenced to 15 years in prison with credit for time served. In connection to uh, breaking into a Grand Forks County home last February and winding up being shot by a deputy. Under a plea agreement, he pled guilty to robbery, burglary, attempted theft, and terrorizing. For background on all this, here's our report from February 28th of earlier this year. We have an update to our report of a suspect being shot by deputies five miles south of uh, Grand Forks along Highway 81 on Sunday. That suspect, who was now hospitalized, has been identified as 37-year-old Joseph Espinoza of Grand Forks. He suffered a gunshot wound to the leg. Uh, This now in from uh, Grand Forks uh, County Sheriff Andy Snyder, quote, on Sunday at 1126 a.m., Grand Forks County Sheriff's Corporal Brandon Ricosi and Deputy Dustin Wildholm were, Wadholm were dispatched to a vehicle that had crashed into the ditch in the 800 block of County 81. The caller reported the vehicle had passed him on the shoulder of the road at approximately 90 miles per hour just prior to the crash. The caller also reported that the male was fleeing on foot from the vehicle. A short time later, deputies were advised that a male subject, later identified as Joseph Martin Espinoza, had broken into the residence at 877 10th Street Northeast by smashing out a large window next to the front door. Two residents were in the home at the time of the invasion. The homeowner indicated to dispatch they were going to get a gun. It was later learned that the homeowner had fired rounds in the home to push Espinoza out of the home. A struggle ensued over the gun. Joseph Espinoza took the gun and fired several shots into the home, in the home. The uh, homeowners continued to attempt to get Joseph Espinoza to leave the residence. The uh, male homeowner received minor injuries, including a cut to his hand. The female homeowner was also struck in the face by Joseph Espinoza. Deputies were cozy and wad home uh, arrived on the scene as Joseph Espinoza was in the process of stealing the homeowner's pickup. The female homeowner was outside by the pickup and yelled to the deputies that Joseph Espinoza had a gun. The female homeowner ran into her home and deputies uh, retreated for a position of cover. Uh, deputies gave commands for Joseph Espinoza to show his hands. Once they observed a gun in his hands, they gave repeated commands for him to drop the gun. Joseph Espinoza walked down the driveway toward the deputies with a gun in his hand as they continued to command him to drop it. Joseph Espinoza transferred the gun to his opposite hand and pointed in the direction of the deputies. The deputies fired at Joseph Espinoza, which resulted in him being struck in the upper left leg. Deputies approached Espinoza, who remained uncooperative and attempted to secure him in order to render aid. The weapon was secured, and Espinoza was eventually secured in handcuffs. Deputies rendered aid to him for the gunshot wound and other injuries he sustained while breaking into the residence, including applying a tourniquet to the injured leg. Espinoza was transported to Altru by ambulance and he is being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. It was later learned the vehicle Espinoza had crashed was just stolen from Grand Forks. The sheriff's office is conducting an investigation into uh, potential criminal charges on Espinoza. The North Dakota Bureau of Criminal Investigation is reviewing the officer-involved shooting. Corporal Brandon uh, Rakosi has uh, been a deputy with the sheriff's office since 2010. He was promoted to corporal in 2019. Deputy Dustin Wadholm has been employed with the sheriff's office for uh, two months. He is currently in field training and assigned to training officer uh, Corporal Rakosi. Both deputies are on standard administrative leave, unquote. That was from Grand Forks County Sheriff uh, uh, Andy Schneider. Now, deputies were found to be justified in that uh, shooting, and as we told you, Joseph Espinoza has now been sentenced to 15 years in prison under a plea agreement with credit for time served. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.